My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 244. And today is our lesson number 139. Let's take a look at it. Page, turn to, please turn to page 244. The very, on the very top of the page, the very first one, number 5. Question number 5. It simply says, use the rules of exponents to simplify the following expressions. The most fundamental rule of exponents that you have to understand it's something that I already put on the blackboard which says when the bases are the same when the bases are the same we add the exponents when the quantities are being multiplied we add the exponents when the quantities are being multiplied and if the quantities are being divided we subtract the exponents we subtract the exponents if the quantities are being divided that's all that's all it is for example for example For example, two, 2 to the 3rd power divided by 2 to the 2nd power. Well, we know 2 to the 3rd power is 8. We know this is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. The answer should be 2. And this is how we do it. Since the bases are the same, this has a base of 2, and this is, a, this is the exponent base of 2, and this one is the base of 2. Since the bases are the same and the quantities are being divided, we subtract the exponents. 3 minus 2, which is 2 raised to 1, which of course we knew was 2. Of course you know all this thing, obviously. So, that's what we're going to do here. That's the rule we're going to use here to find out. So here we have n raised to 5 and n raised to negative 3. Since the bases are the same, the base here is n, the base here is n. All we have to do is add the exponent. So this becomes n raised to 5 minus 3, which is same as n raised to 2. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. B says s raised to 7 uh, times t raised to 7. Now the bases are not the same. This quantity has a base of s, this quantity has a base of t. Since the bases are different, there is nothing we can do here. It just stays like that. It's simply s times t raised to 7. For example, 2 raised to, 2 raised to 3 times 3 raised to 3. There is nothing we can do with it. It is simply 2 times 3 raised to 3 or 6 raised to 3. 6 raised to 3. That's what it is. And you can verify this yourself. Do it out yourself. Find out. Multiply 8 times 27 and you will see that that is same as 6 times 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36 and 36 times 6 is 216. You will see that you will find 216 here. 27 times 8. 8 7 7 is a 49, 49 plus another 7 make it 56. You see 6 and then 6. Carry 5. Carry 5. 16 plus 5 is 21. There you go, you see? It's the same. 8 times 8 times 27 is same as this quantity right here, which is what this is. Since this space is different from this space, all we can say is 2 times 3 raised to 3, which is what this is. 6 S times T raised to 7. Except when it's variable, it is not necessary to put a multiplication sign. It is not necessary to do this thing. We could actually just put them as t. And people understand that s t is same as a s times t. So that was number two. Look, let's look at number three. C. C says r is to 12 over r is to 4. Again, the bases are the same. The quantities are being divided. So we subtract the exponent, simply r raised to 12 minus 4, which is simply r raised to 8. That's all. That's it. We done with that one. r raised to 8 is the answer. Let's look at d. 2 times a over b raised to 5. Since everything is different here, there are no like term, uh, like uh, like variable here. This is a. This is two. This is b. Everything is different. So this is basically same as two raised to five times a raised to five over b raised to five. And if you like, you can figure out what two raised to five is. 
2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 times 2 is 32. There you go. 32 a raised to 5 over b raised to 5. That's your answer. That's what it boils down to. 32 a raised to 5 over b raised to 5. Let's do the next one. That was d, I believe. That is d. E. E says w raised to 5 times 3, or uh, negative 3. Or rather, w raised to 5, the whole thing raised to negative 3. Now here, it gets tricky. This rule no longer applies here. This is same as, well actually this, this rule does apply. What it is going on here is this. Uh, it is it is w raised to 5 times negative 1 times w raised to 5 times negative 1. This is this 2 tedious. You multiply the exponents. 5 times negative 3 is what it is. w raised to 5 times negative 3, which is w raised to negative 15. Why do we multiply the exponents in this situation? I'm going to show you in a second, but that's the answer. w raised to negative, fi negative 15. You see, for example, 2 squared raised to the third is basically what is going on here is basically what is going on here is raised to the third means whatever quantity that we see in the parentheses we multiply by itself like this but of course this is 2 raised to 2 is same as 2 raised to 2 and this is 2 raised to 2 and this is 2 raised to 2 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 2 raised to 6 and how do we find in a quicker way? The quicker way is to simply take this 2 and multiply it by 2 times 3, which is 2 raised to 6. Let's do the next one. That one was what? That one was E. Let's do F. 5 raised to 0 times D to the third. Any number, any number raised to 0 equals 1. This is something that you have to know. That is something that you must know. 37 raised to 0 equals 1. Negative 3 quarter, 2 third, negative 2 third raised to 0 is 1. 3 million raised to 0 is 1. Everything is 1. Any number, any number raised to 0 is 1. Pi raised to 0 is 1. Any number raised to 0 is 1. So 5 raised to 0 is just 1 times d to the third, which is simply d to the third. That's the answer. That's the answer to f. Let's take a look at how far does it go? The bloody thing just keeps on going. G and H. G is x raised to 10 times y raised to negative 1 over x raised to negative 5 times y raised to 5. Now they do not actually write it like this, do they? No, they do not. I'm trying to find it as I'm speaking here. No, they write it differently. They write it with all the parentheses around it. But the way they have written is the exact same thing as what I have written here. There is no difference. Putting the parentheses around everything is not going to change anything. I can do that if you like. Putting, putting the parentheses around everything is not going to change anything. It's still the same thing. It's just that putting the parentheses around it makes it visually easier for us to see that this is a quantity by itself which is being multiplied by this quantity by a raised to it keeps everything separate. So here, here I see x base of x and here I see a base of x since they are the same bases the exponents have to be subtracted because this quantity x raised to 10 is being divided by x raised to negative 5 when they are being divided we subtract the exponent so this becomes x raised to 10 minus let's, let's do it step by step let's do it step by step so what this is is x raised to 10 over x raised to negative 5 times y raised to negative 1 over y raised to 5 now let's do it one more step here now since these are the same basis, this basically boils down to x raised to 10 minus the bottom exponent, which is a negative 5, times y raised to negative 1 minus a 5. 
which gives us which gives us x raised to negative times negative becomes positive, so x raised to 15 times y raised to negative 6 y raised to negative 6, which can be written as x raised to 15 over y over 6, y raised to 6 that's your answer that was g we have one more to do, one more to go before we finish this problem let's do it then, that was the g okay. let's do the last one here, we already have our rules so let's do the last one, we can do it right about here oh, the last one is a little bit more complicated, I need the room it's complicated if you, if you don't remember the, these things from a long time ago and of course if you remember it then it's very simple the question is what does one do when one is asked to divide one fraction by another fraction this is a fraction and we are asked to divide by another fraction for example for example if somebody asks you to divide this thing here 20 over 5 divided by 9 over 6 how do we do it? well let's find out shall we? 20 over 5 we know is 4 and 9 over 6 we know is 2 so basically we are being asked to divide 4 by 2 so the answer we know is 2 the answer is 2 well not this one obviously I didn't, I didn't mean to put it there so the answer to this quantity is 2 this quantity of course has no numerical value because we do not know what the values of x and y are obviously this, this quantity equals 2 let's see the pr process, what is the process behind it now of course here we, knew, here we knew the numerical value so we could actually do it out and figure out the answer is 2 now we have to pretend that we don't know these values these are some variables so what do you do? you take your first fraction and you multiply it by the reciprocal of the other fraction multiply it by the reciprocal of the other fraction and this is not getting me anything that I was looking for, nothing at all something has gone wrong 9 divided by 6 is not 2, it's just a 3. I needed a 2 here. I needed a 2. This should have been 12. Something, something had gone drastically wrong. So one more time. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And what you do is you take your first fraction and you multiply it by the reciprocal of the other fraction so 12 over 6 becomes 6 over 12 let's see what happens now and it better give us 2 at the end because we already know the answer, the answer is 2 so let's do it together divide top and bottom by 2 here 6 becomes 3, 12 becomes 6 divide top and bottom one more time by 2 so 6 becomes 3 and 10, 10 becomes 20 becomes 10 divide top and bottom by 3 3 cancels out we end up with 10 divided by 5 divide top and bottom by 5 and 10 becomes 2 and 5 becomes 1 2 over 1 is 2, voila you see the answer is 2 so that's the process one more time one more time when we are asked to divide a fraction by when we are asked to divide one fraction by the other fraction we take the first fraction and we multiply it we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction that's all that's what we are going to do here So, three, so this is the top, 3x squared over y squared, I'm just breaking it up, times 1 over y becomes y over 1. So y to the fifth and 1 to the fifth. And of course 1 to the fifth is just, fifth, uh, is just 1. So nine, 3 squared is 9, x squared is just x squared, and we end up with y squared times y to the fifth. Here we see y, here we see y top and bottom, so it ends up being 9 times x squared and y raised to 5 minus 2. We subtract the exponents when the, when the bases are the same, so it ends up being 9x squared y raised to third. 9x squared y raised to third, and that's your final answer. And that is my final answer. I will see you tomorrow where we will solve these equations that they give us. 
Okay. Bye until then. Bye now.